TheEnd.com. Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM. For years, the stories of Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Tennessee Williams have been successful on the stage. Many of Williams' plays have then been turned into memorable films as well. And up next today, we've got one of them from director Richard Brooks in 1962, Sweet Bird of Youth. The original Tennessee Williams play opened on Broadway in the winter of 1959, starring Paul Newman and Geraldine Page. Back then, as now, it was rare for the Broadway stars to reprise their roles in a Hollywood film adaptation, but that turned out to be the case here. Casting Paul Newman, that was kind of a no-brainer. He was already an accomplished movie star with one Best Actor Oscar nomination to his credit. Geraldine Page, though, was another matter. Those familiar with the theater knew Page. They respected her talent, but moviegoers hardly knew the name Geraldine Page at all, and that generally gave movie studios reason to pause and reason to look at stars who had proven box office clout. In this case, Ava Gardner was under consideration to play opposite Newman, but in the end, even Hollywood execs had to admit that Geraldine Page was perfect in the play, and she ultimately got the nod to star in the film. Several months later, Page also earned a Best Actress Academy Award nomination for her performance as a faded movie star who hooks up with an aspiring young actor and returns with him to his hometown in the South. From 1962, also featuring Ed Begley Sr. and Shirley Knight, here's Tennessee Williams's Sweet Bird of Youth. 